All right, guys, so we have a lot of new info for Dokkan. Very exciting times. So uh, we have all of the EZA info. We actually have four EZA units upcoming, which is really, really awesome. Uh, we also have uh, a new update on JP with some new things. Uh, and then, of course, we do have the new summon animation. So there is a lot to go over. Uh, obviously, that's very, very exciting. So thanks, of course, to the... Homie Goresh, let's go ahead and take a look at the translations for these EZA units. Uh, yes, that's right, Goresh and me do have the same birthday. That's weird. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, <laughs> on to Int Trunks, right? So Int Trunks here, um, he is going to get uh, EZA via the Extreme Z area. Um, based upon where the medals are in, like, the menu, uh, these Extreme Z areas are, like... It's like something extra. Like, like this is what I was trying to tell people before, too. This isn't like an actual normal EZA event, right? Because we still have our normal EZA event, which is going to be Blue Cow Ken Goku. This is like something special, something different, like a little challenge event that'll also EZA a unit. So, again, Extreme Z area is a very good thing to happen to the game. Because, I mean, now look, we're getting four EZA units at once. Like, these are units that have been out for years who are now going to be like top tier like very very good so uh int trunks leader skill is int type key two and 70 percent of stats i mean this will be useful for some uh people in dokkan battlefield i think uh because like maybe you're a new player or something like that uh leader skills like this will be very helpful in battlefield he does supreme damage and lowers attack and defense that's fine uh he gets a hundred percent defense at the start of turn uh, then he gets 100% attack when there's two or less enemies. Now, his passive is already set up like that, where it was 70% attack with two or less enemies. So, so that's not really a change. Uh, but he does have 100% defense at the start of turn, no matter what, which is good. Then he gets a further 50% attack and a great chance to perform a crit if there's an Android category enemy. So he's good. Um, considering his EZA stats and like all that, like, like he's just going to be a really solid unit. Uh, remember that he is free to play. Um, we can use this guy in prime battles. I would imagine he's going to be one of the hardest hitting units that you could use in one of these prime battle events. So uh, this trunks very, very, very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so next we have Kaioken Blue Goku. Um, obviously, you know, we, we've been waiting for our boy Kaioken Blue Goku to finally get his EZA. Uh, so looks like you know, his leader skill is AGL type key 3 and 120% of stats. That's what all of the 100% leaders have gotten, so we did expect that. So he greatly raises attack on super attack and does immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 5% HP. Wait. Wait, hold on. I want to bring up the Dokkan. Wait, 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 wait. He greatly stacks his attack? Because it's not for one turn or anything like that. He just greatly stacks his attack. ho, <laughs> ho. Really? I Because, okay, because I, I was just laying in bed and I did like an initial look through what the units did. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. Some of these guys seem good. Wow. Uh, okay. He, he greatly stacks attack, does immense damage, and sacrifices 5% HP. With his passive, dude, he's going to be, wh what's his... 17,626 is his attack? Bro. Uh, <laughs> this blue Goku is going to be hitting very freaking hard because he gets 59% attack and defense at the start of turn, which is fine. Then he gets a further 59% attack and defense for 10 turns from his first appearance. So this is another thing I was initially looking through. Um, with this new update on JP... Some passives have been are worded slightly different. Um, and like, okay, so this is good. So if Kaioken Blue Goku starts out in slot seven, you don't get him for the first turn and you've only got the seven turns left with the 59% attack and defense. It's from his first appearance. That's very good. Now those, of course, I believe are going to multiply into each other. I believe the way that passive is, that's the way that's going to work. And then on turn, basically the last turn that he would have the extra attack and defensive buff, he gets a further 59% attack and a guaranteed crit uh, once only. So only on his ninth turn. Now, right away, 
this Goku, he's going to be good even for the Legendary Goku event. Because he's going to be... His stats are so high. He's going to do so much damage. His defense is going to be so good. He does lower your health, but he is stacking attack as well. He He's going to be good for the Legendary Goku event. But you are, that's the only event where that passive is going to run out. But anywhere else, Super Battle Road, EZA, Battlefield... This Goku is just going to dominate. Like, he's going to do so much damage. And again, he's going to have a decent amount of defense. 11,500. Yeah, this guy, he's crazy. Um, I don't... It, it's hard for me to say... I don't I don't think I would put him as the best TUR in the game, pretty much no matter what, because Janemba is way too balanced offensively and defensively. But I, I feel like this guy could be a top three EZA. He could be better than SCR Gogeta, I think. You know, I need to see him in action. I want to actually see the numbers and stuff he's putting up. But I, I think Blue Kyle Ken Goku. I might tentatively have him as the third best EZA in the game. Maybe again, we'll we'll see. But he he's somewhere in there for me. You know, SCR Gogeta, Physical Super Saiyan uh, Goku from the Metal Cooler movie. You know, Tech Golden Frieza in Janemba. Those are some of the top EZAs for me. Uh, okay, so. Then, uh, goat, indeed, a couple of Gotenks are getting easy A's. Uh, we have the SCR Gotenks as well as the uh, physical Gotenks. Uh, this is good. That SCR Gotenks, I feel like, has like almost never really gotten use. Uh, he just, I don't know, he's always flown under the radar. And the physical one has always been very, very good, right? So, the physical Gotenks, all types, key 3, 77% of stats. I think I maybe would have liked that a little bit higher, but it's fine. Uh, he does immense damage and seals, so that's obviously pretty good. 120% when performing a super attack is strong. Okay. What? Let me let me actually pull him up as well. Uh, wait, do we do they have them listed here on the wiki already? No. Well, they got him. Okay, let me go grab the other two go tanks because I want to see this trunks. I want to see his stats. Yeah, like they've already got it listed in. They don't have it listed down for him. It's like, people, we can tell exactly what all of the easy unit stats are going to be. Uh, it's based on how their stats increase when they level up. Like, the reason we know that is the way Broly's stats went up from his easy this physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Uh, because his stats barely changed <clears throat> for his easy Like, look, he had 14,500 attack, and then it was only 15,000 at easy and the reason for that is because this Broly at, like, level... It's, like, level 1 has, like, 7,000 attack or something like that. Like, so that's why uh, it's based upon their level ups and stuff. All right, so Gotenks. We got the two Gotenkses. Uh, not surprising it's these two. These two awaken from the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event. And then the AGL one and the STR Base Storm Gotenks, they uh, awaken from the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event, right? So, okay, we got these two. Uh, again, the number one thing I want to take a look at here... Okay, before he was Supreme, yes. I want to look at their stats. So, uh, it's hard to tell. I, this Gold Tank is going to be around 15,000, though, I think. Um, and what about this guy? Oh, I think he's going to be a little bit higher, actually. Oh, yeah. his he could. I think he might be closer to 16,000. That Gold Tank's interesting. Okay. So, 120% when performing a super attack with, like, around 16,000, you know, 15,500 to 16,000 attack. He's going to be hitting hard, considering he also seals. Then he gets one key and 30% defense whenever a super attack is performed, getting him up to a max of three key and 120% defense. So, after four super attacks, this man is going to have 120% defense and 120% attack. Uh, as just like a, a banner unit. Like, he's very good. That's very, very strong. What's his 12 key? Let me take a look at this. Uh, 135% isn't the greatest. He, no matter what, this is a buff for the Fusion team, though. Like, the Fusion team badly needed this. This is something that, like, okay, so, like, right now, I, I think it is possible to no item the fusion stage of super battle road but it's just the luck you need is just insane right with this go tanks it definitely gets a little bit easier um and then let's also take a look at the scr go tanks here okay so scr type key 270 percent of stats again a, a lot of these units their leader skills will be good for battlefield that's the number one place 
All right, so this guy raises attack and defense for one turn and does supreme damage with a medium chance to stun. He gets 80% attack and defense, and then all allies get one key, 40% attack and defense when there are two enemies. Okay. Wow. Okay, he's... He's good for Super Battle Road. Jeez. So, not only do you have a chance to stun, but this man is going to be having 120% defense at the start of turn, because in Super Battle Road, there's multiple enemies, and he's going to raise his defense on Super Attack. Ooh, man. This... Okay. I like this. Here's the thing. I know a lot of people don't like a lot of the restrictions and stuff like that for a lot of these units, but I do like what they did with this Gotenks, because... For most events, you're going to just use the physical go tanks like normal, right? But if you're going into Super Battle Road, this is the go tanks you're going to want to use. Now, the physical go tanks has that, you know, 100% chance to seal, whereas this go tanks is, you know, chance to stun, it's only what 25 or 30%? What is it? It's a 30% chance to stun for two turns. They raised it from 20%. It used to be 20%, now it's 30. So, it's a 30% chance to stun, right? But then, like, again, the fusion team is so weak defensively that, like, you have this Gotenks out there. That's going to help out so much, that 40% defense. The key is not needed on the fusion team. Um, but the attack is really not needed either. But that 40% defense, chance to stun, uh, his stats are just going to be really good. Yeah, this guy is going to be great, great uh, for Super Battle Road. So, I like it. I like it. They, they've given us some interesting units here. Um, again, Kaioken Blue Goku, I think, is possibly a top three TUR. Uh, he's probably going to be one of the hardest hitting TURs in the game, I think. I, I think the amount of damage he's going to be dishing out is going to be uh, out of this world. So, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Alright, so big shoutouts, of course, to the homie Goresh. Uh, very excited for these EZAs. I believe they drop tomorrow, actually. So... Tomorrow, we should get a data download and everything actually in game, so that will be cool. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch y'all next time.